Well, hello, hello. This is Rosa from RCG Creations. How are you doing? Bringing you a what's for supper video. <laughs> I was scrounging. I'm pooped. This past two days, this is my second work day, Tuesday, and I'm exhausted from work. Just got off work. Got to make supper, and I took this out yesterday because I found this in the my pantry. Was the last jar of my chicken pot pie filling. So, we're gonna have chicken pot pie for supper. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna open this up and I'd like y'all to hear me go <laughs> That way you know that, that way you know, sorry the phone was ringing. That way you know that this is a good seal, but you could tell, look right here, it's, doesn't look and then here it is I canned this October 2020 my last jar so I gotta make some more so I'm gonna get my little handy dandy can opener you want to look for an opening a white opening to put it under the grooves oops I've got it backwards sorry my fault do you hear go pop and that's what we want now, there's a lot of juice when you're canning, when you're canning meat and stuff like this, so I'm going to drain this in a bowl with a strainer. Oh, you know what? I need to flip the camera so I can see to make sure that I'm in focus. I'm in frame. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. So, I'm going to do this over the sink because I do tend to spill. Okay. And you want to save your juice because you may need to add the juice back in on your pan when you're baking it. Pot, pan, whatever it is that you're baking it. We used to do it in the Ninja, but I'm not very familiar with the Ninja. Hubby does it. He in here. It's got about another 45 minutes before he gets home from work. Okay, so I will not use metal utensils at all when I'm doing any of my mason jars for canning, water bath canning, because the metal from the spoon, the knife, could compromise the glass, so I won't do it. That's just me. Do your own research, do your own homework, but I won't do it, so I'm gonna get myself a rubber spatula. I think I think actually this is a silicone one. And I'm just gonna pour all the stuff, all the goodies in here, because I'm not gonna waste any of that. And I'll bring it up closer to you in just a second. So you can see how the chunks of chicken. And I did dice this. But of course, sitting in water for two years. And then let me show you. Look at that. See the chunks of chicken? But they're not falling apart. They're not they're not disintegrating. They're not disintegrating, which is, that's a good, that means that was a good canning job. Okay, so let me put this over here to the side. Put my spoon right there. And I'm cheating. I use a pre-made pie crust, but I forgot to take it out 20 minutes ago. So I put it in the microwave because it's the boxes. You can put it in the microwave for like 15 seconds and then that'll thaw it out. It wasn't frozen. It was just in the fridge, but I kind of went a little overboard. And I got a little too <laughs> this part of here kind of got soft. It overdid it. So I may cut that out. Now what we're gonna do this is I'm baking mine in a quiche dish. Because all my other pans that I normally would bake this in are made for two jars, and we only have one jar left, so there's no leftovers for lunch tomorrow, which is gonna be supper. But that's gonna be more than enough for the both of us for tonight's supper. And since all the veggies are in here, I don't have to do nothing else. So, you want to spray with cooking spray, vegetable spray, whatever it is that you have, so it doesn't stick to your pan. And I like to cook stuff like this in a cookie sheet. That way, if there's any overflow, it flows on the cookie sheet and not on my pan, and that means less work for me. So, let me move my little pastry. It's one of those little sticky ones. And now I'm going to pour my stuff inside my filling 
inside. Just want to make sure that y'all can see what's going on. Oh yeah, this is, I could have used a little bit more, like another pint jar, but you know what, it'll be good enough. Okay, then I'm just going to level this out. I'm saving my juice because I want this to be creamy, so I'm going to get some uh, <clears throat> heavy cream. And I'm going to mix it with a little bit of juice and I'm going to make it into like a little broth, a creamy broth. And I'll bring you back when I get to that phase. Okay, what I've done, I don't have any cans of heavy cream. But I freeze, when I get a good price, I freeze uh, a couple of containers in my little ice cube trays. Then I label my freezer bag. Then I stick it in the freezer. For times like today when I don't have what I need. So I'm going to put this back in the freezer. And then what I did is I used part of that leftover broth from the canner, the canning jar. I microwaved the little cubes just a little bit so they would get soft. And then what I'm doing now is I'm mixing it all up. And then I'm going to pour just a little bit, not a whole lot. We want some juices in here, but we don't want a whole lot of juices, but we do want some. I just want to make sure it kind of coats in the bottom, which it looks like it's going to. You know what? We may need the whole thing. This is my first time using my little quiche pan for this. It's usually heavy does it in the ninja, so it makes the whole thing. But you want a little bit of juice for your chicken pot pie, but you don't want a whole lot. Okay, my timer went off, and I'm not going to season it because it's got all the great flavors. I already tasted a little bit of it. It's really, really good. So I'm not going to season it. Now I'm just going to get my pastry. Whoops. Ah, starting to tear on me. Let me see if I can get it as close to the center as possible. Yay! And then all the extras, I'm just going to pull apart with my fingers. Make sure to wash clean hands, clean utensils, clean counters. Okay, and I'm just going to cut the edge. Oh, I know you can't see this right quick. But all I'm doing is cutting the trimming the edges around the pie off the, the pan. Okay, I like a little bit of a thick crust. So I'm just going to, the excess one on this side, because we had extra, we, it just was actually a good fit right here. And this rip right here, let me show you. This rip right there, I hope you can see that part. I'm going to leave it there as a vent. Because you're supposed to put little vent holes in here. So I'm going to leave that there as a vent. So I did that on purpose. <laughs> So now I'm just pinching the extra dough so it leaves me a little bit of a crust and it's going to shrink the dough will shrink a little bit when it's baking in the oven not a whole lot but it will shrink a little bit so that's why you want to make sure you give yourself plenty of room now this extra stuff let me get my fingers wet you get your fingers wet with your dough and it uh, will stick. You get more water. And I want this to attach itself. There we go. And I'm just going to bunch in this up. I know this ain't pretty, but you know what? I am not a baker. I'm learning, but I'm not a baker. I'm not there yet. Okay, let me do a little bit. I just need a little piece. I'm getting this wet with my wet fingers and I'm just pinching it to the edge of the bowl okay so it stays there and then I'm you're gonna bake it in a 400 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes because this is already pre-cooked none of this is raw because I pressure canned it it won't it won't even I don't even enough time to heat it all up really is all you're doing 
So, you know, pretty much 15, I say 20. I'm going to say, I'm going to check it in 15 minutes and see if it's done. Uh, 15 or 20 minutes. The prep time took me, what, maybe, maybe five minutes? Okay, so we'll say, 30, let's just, let's just be nice and say 30 minutes. You've got a meal ready to eat in 30 minutes. So, let me get myself a knife and let's, let's make some air holes. I never can make these pretty. But since just me and hubby, he's not going to no party or nothing. No one's going to know. And there's that one there. And these are just little air vents for the steam to come out as it's baking in the oven. And then this dough is just left over, but I left that yucky piece there because I'm not going to use it. <laughs> okay, so let me turn the camera around. I'm going to pop it in the oven. There we go. And then I'll wash my dishes, wait for Happy to come home, and we'll be ready to eat. I'll set my timer for. I'm going to set it for 15 minutes and I'm going to check it. Simple as that. Set my timer for 15 minutes and we'll bring you back when it's time for the best part. The taste test. Okay, we'll bring you back. We're going to have a little added benefit. This was a pan I was going to cook it in, but it was too big. Let me turn this around so I can make sure I'm in frame. This is my leftover pie crust. And I'm not going to make it go to waste. And since the oven's on anyway, oops. so I just rolled it out with my fingers. As you can see, not really pretty, but you know what, that's okay. Now I'm going to lay me down a piece of parchment. It's going to be an easy cleanup for me. We have some peach jelly my sister made, Margie. She's, she does a lot of peach jellies and stuff. She's really good at it. I'm not that great. And then I'm just going to add that in the filling. This could be our dessert. <laughs> a little peach tart. Let me add some more filling in here. Okay, that should be good. Now I'm just going to fold this on over. Squeeze, let me grab a fork. Squeeze the edges of it so it pinches tight and it seals so when it's baking it doesn't explode on you. It's going to explode a little bit because I got a little too much filling on it, but that's okay, I'm good. Because it's sitting on the parchment paper, I'm not going to have a whole lot of mess. And that little rib part, thats I did it on purpose. That's my little air vent. <laughs> so let me bring you up close. See that? That's my little tart. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in the oven because this is going to take about the same time frame. And then I'll check it in 15 minutes and it should be ready because all we want to do is get this to be golden brown. Let me move this over. Oh. I got to move this over. Okay. And this has just enough room here in the side on the top shelf. I gotta clean up my mess and we'll bring you back with the taste test. Okay, we're back. It's been out of the oven oh, about three, three to four minutes. So I'm gonna let that rest just a little bit. But oh, well, while that's resting. Okay, this I just got out of the oven. And see my little baby tart? Didn't it turn out cute? Oh. I keep on forgetting to turn on my little thing so I can see what's going on. There's my little baby tart. Isn't it turned it cute? And see, I told you, no mess. Don't have to wash no dishes. 
So that's going to be there for dessert. I mean, I will share it. This is the pie crust. We just went to Kroger and got it that I used for the top. So now I don't have a cutter or nothing. And this is my, this is Tupperware. This is a lettuce slicer. So you just cut your lettuce. But I like it because it's got the ridges. And I don't want to scrape up my pan. So I, I don't want to use metal. So now that I'm making more, I think it's, I gotta tell hubby, it's time for me to start investing in some good cooking tools. <laughs> We'll see what he says to that. I don't want to lose my little crust. You know what? I'm going to get my little spatula. Sorry about the reach there. Just because I want to make sure that I get it all comes out nice and even. Oh, look. Mm -mm -mm. That's, I wish I could smell. It smells good. But look, there's the crust. I didn't do a crust on the bottom. That is the whipping cream. But you know what? Let's just taste it and see what it tastes like. Because I wanted it to be more creamy, so. But you know what? I, I was just kind of living it. I have no idea what I was doing. So I'll have to do some more research on that. But the crust looks really good. See that? Doesn't that look good? Let me let it cool off just a minute. Let me get myself a piece of the crust. Oops. Let me get a piece of carrot. A piece of celery. Come on, carrot. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. I definitely need to add some salt. But I don't think it needs any pepper. And again, when you're baking this, when you're pressure canning, you can put your own seasonings in there. It's up to you, but since I'm really careful and cautious about a lot of the seasonings, I cook without it because I know you can always just add it on your plate. So let's do another one because I added some salt. Got a piece of carrot, piece of celery, crust. This is another two thumbs up menu. Well, I'm doing pretty good this week. Now let me have my crust on the edges. I was reading up while I was cooking that the best way to keep the bottom, the outside crust from getting darker than the inside, the top of the crust, is to lay foil or get a pie crust shield, which I'll need to invest in getting those. And you put that on top, and then that keeps the edges from getting darker than the top of the crust. So let's just taste just a crust by itself with a little piece of chicken. And as you can see, I use some, this is, I use the whole chicken. So this has got dark meat and white meat, but this one, this jar had mostly dark meat in it. Mmm, mmm. This is a win-win. Now, let's try the little pastry. And since I got to share with hubby, I'm going to take this crunchy part, because I like the crunchies. Oh, and look, let me, let me pick this up and I'll show you. Look at that. See how golden brown it did? And it just had a little bit of seepage, but I knew it was going to. But that's what the parchment paper is for. So. Um. I definitely need to make some more of this. Oh, sorry. I'm eating and talking. Sorry about that. I definitely need to make some of those tarts. I got another pie crust. I think I just might make some more. We have time. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching. Oh, you know what? I wanted to show you. I'm going to bring this up. Now, for those who want a lot of juice, 
Remember I said save the juice from the broth of the jar? If you wanted to, you could add more juice. Cause see how that's a little dry? But hubby and I don't like it really, really wet. But for those who do, add extra juice over your filling as you're putting it in your jar. Cause the heat of the oven's gonna bake some of that juice off anyway, but you're still gonna have extra juice. But for me and hubby, this is how we like it, because we don't like really, really runny pot, chicken pot pie. Even the kind you buy from the store. Or if you go to a restaurant. Okay? But we're going to go eat supper. I thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Have a great one. Take care now. Bye-bye.